Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Monday. Getting towards the middle of May already, 11th of May. Risk on in Asia today, confounding a lot of logical traders. Um, I would caution traders using logic. Uh, price is your guide. The story is always incomplete. There's always something you don't know. Um, and the message can be delivered in a number of nefarious ways. So it is what it is here. It's risk on. Here's Aussie Yen in front of us. Looking to touch, looking to tickle this uh, 7017 area. Got some fresh air above here. Um, you know, I don't know what to say. You got momentum guys who are going to be buying through these highs. Um, you got FOMO people who are short Aussie and reading comments about the problems with China and anger towards China. But facts are facts, and the only real facts in this business is price. And the tape says risk on, so we're risk on today. Here we go. Um be nice if we get a touch here we're not going to dive into this at the open 70 17 uh, but there's a good chance they slice this this at the open what else is risk on that can be traded today um, let's go down to um, our old friend euro norway we got oil up at uh, 25 bucks um, this looks like it's ready to roll now. We printed the 0170 low, 0161 on this chart back on April 7th. Uh, we printed the 04 low, uh, but most importantly, this low here on March 13th, we remember it well because the first time up to 11, we were all sellers. Um, and then we had that sort of four-day nonsense up to 14. Um, so this uh, this will be a key point here. Uh, the actual low that day was 11 double 40. So it doesn't take a, doesn't take a genius to um, to sort of say that through 11 hourly close below 11 and a daily close below 11 opens this thing up um, for a move down towards 1050 uh, dollar Norway our old friend the gift that keeps on giving 1010 really 1012 uh, so if euro does go higher um, maybe dragged by euro yen um, Dollar Norway could also break through these lows. Those are two sort of risk on ideas. Kiwi Yen is the same as Aussie Yen, lagging a little bit, but the chart here is actually um, stronger, right? Triple top already, 66.15. Is this going to trade? Sure looks like it. Um, again, we're not fighting the tape. None of this makes any sense, but. Price is first. We like story because stories are fun. Stories are intellectual exercises, gymnastics, whatever. Uh, but price and the tape, you know, Jesse Livermore calls it the tape. Jesse hung himself in a coat closet, so we don't really want to use him as an example, but it's just price, right? Price doesn't lie. There's many little metaphors you can use. 66.15. Keep an eye on that. Kiwi Yen. Dollars are. This is probably the last vehicle I would ever um, use for risk on. Um, just because South Africa. The story is so bad. Um, it's shocking. But that said, you see it's the same kind of setup. You know, this is sort of an upside down Aussie yen, upside down Kiwi yen. 
This is the Euro Norway chart. 18 double O is the same as 11 in Euro Norway. A lot of these charts look similar, and I think they're all going to probably end up going. Here's dollar CAD. This chart looked familiar. Bang. Back to the highs. Bang. A little bit back to the highs. It was, couldn't quite make it. Now we're going to attack this uh, 138.50. Same type deal. A lot of momentum traders are going to be selling Euro Euro Norway at eleven, dollar CAD at one thirty eight fifty, Aussie yen seventy sixteen, Kiwi yen sixty six seventy nine, um, makes no sense, but don't really care, right? Let's look at Euro yen. It's already up. Traded 116.06. Where are the stops in Euro Yen? So, everyone who put on these trades for ECJ and the German court uh, case and the eventual blow up of Italy and Euro, where are their stops? Their stops are right here 117.75. We're even going to go 117.77 because we're number files. Um, There'll be some fireworks up there. That's obviously not for today. Uh, Sterling Yen took out all of the shorts through 132. Now we're mid-range. There's nothing happening here. There's there's no way we're going to get up to 135.75 anytime soon. Um, but that's the same type of level. Dollar Yen squeezing on this risk on but there's really no trade here the dollar side of this trade looks pretty weak in a sense weak as in the dollar's not necessarily weak although in some cases it is um, this isn't a pure dollar play this is just risk on mes metrics uh, and how do you express risk on um, and then obviously you have your um, ES 67 was the weekly high two weeks ago. Uh, that should be 29.65. Sorry, 65 was the high. Uh, and the 200 day is at 3,000. So looks like we're in, in looks like we're going to test 3,000 this week at some point. It won't be straightforward. Um, may not be today. Uh, you got to be patient with these things, but um, this is uh, this looks like it's in play. One last thing, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, we saw, you know, PTJ Paul Tudor Jones talking up Bitcoin over the weekend. Uh, he's obviously the Michael Jordan of this business for a lot of guys. Uh, certainly here at Privateer, we recognize this guy and what he's done over 30 years to be sort of the equivalent of Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan type career. There's some irony, of course, that <clears throat> Bitcoin drops 20% as soon as he says he's using it as an inflation hedge. Um, but let's just chalk this up to weekend Bitcoin. Um, which is basically what it is. The CME is closed. The CME is max long Bitcoin. Uh, there's going to be like blood uh, at the open today. Um, although, you know, the Bitcoin futures are open, but there's blood today. But I think you can pick Bitcoin up um, somewhere between sort of 8,500 and 6,500. So yeah, I'm giving you a 20% window here. It's very much like gold. Um, sickeningly hard uh, to manage these positions. So probably keep it small. What we've done is we've just, we treat it like an asset now. We don't actually trade it anymore. We treat it like a tech stock. Um, so that makes it a little bit more. It's kind of like trading AMD where three times a year there's a 20% move um, but you, you know you you have confidence in your directionality it's kinda like trading Tesla um, 
In fact, Tesla is a better example because there are tons of haters in Bitcoin, tons of lovers in Bitcoin, um, and then there's tons of all. Uh, so you know, for those of us who have traded Tesla, and of course we have, um, not seriously, but we screwed around with it a few times. This is the type of position, and this is the type of position sizing that you're that you're looking at. You know. Maybe one CME contract is your size, right? It's sort of 40,000 notional. Maybe maybe three contracts is your size, 120,000 notional. You don't really want to put on 100 uh, coins, you know, depending on where your, what your backstop is, but you want to keep it small enough where you can handle the volatility is what I'm trying to say um, in a very clumsy way. Anyway, uh, Today we're watching all of these risk on metrics. We'll be short dollar cad. We'll be short Euro Norway. Um, we'll be watching this Aussie yen and Kiwi yen top side. Um, we will not trade the dollar czar, but we'll just be watching it as a spectator. Um, there will be stops below 18 there. Uh, ES, we won't be trading the long side, but we'll be watching it to help confirm story. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.